I'm really excited to see you mm. today because we've been talking on the phone and you've sent me some fantastic old photographs of your time here. But to have you actually in the space where you were working, uh, how many years ago would it be now? It was 1941 to 44. So, wartime. My maths is right. Is that 70 years ago? Must be. Lord and Lady Beddick owned the place then and lived in it. And it was Lady Bellick who interviewed me in London, and uh, they accepted me on her word, apparently. What was she like? Very pleasant. I think she was an Italian lady. She was very pleasant, very elegant, very easy to get on with. And so what were your duties? What, did you, what was your first impression when you got here in 1941? Bindweed. <laughs> And guess what I've been digging out today? <laughs> Bind weed. Bind weed. It's still here, the same Yes, it was everywhere. Weed. It was all up the walls, through the fruit trees. It was all over the vegetables. It was terrible. We had two men. One was quite good. Right. One was somewhat handicapped by his health and his drinking habits. And then we had two young men who were too young to be called up at that stage. Right. And so you were in charge. Yes. How did the men that you were in charge of react to you as a woman head gardener? I wondered what would happen in that direction, but they were very nice, very cooperative, and when I left, the gentleman who had health problems, shall we say, said to me, you know, I never thought I'd work under a woman, but it's been a very good experience or something like that, which cheered me up very much. <laughs> I bet it did. At the moment, we've only got half an acre under production because we've only been going for a couple of years. There's been a big space of time when it wasn't cultivated at all. But when you were here, did you have the whole lot under cultivation? Yes, mainly vegetable crops, of course, with a few things like raspberries and gooseberries. But being wartime, of course, it was all food production in some way or other. And who took all the food then? The hall took a certain amount. We sold from the place, people locally, and there was um, an air force uh, station near, on the estate. They came and bought. Otherwise, it went into Shrewsbury to shop for the market there. Within this space, we have all our walls are pretty much blank. What did you have growing on the walls? We had, uh, on the cool walls, we had things like pears and uh, raspberries, black currants. On the warm side, we had peaches, figs, nectarines, things that light life of the sunshine. And one of my bugbears within this garden is that on the walls we've got no wires. Did you have wires? Oh yes, yet? we had wires and bales. Spent a lot of time on ladders, nailing things in and tying them up. Your fingers were cold in the winter. So you grew lots of potatoes, it being dig for victory time. Yes. What other vegetables were good in here? Oh, we did uh, all the brassica sorts of things, cabbages, cauliflowers, sprouts, anything that uh, would produ produce plenty of food, really. And did you have pest problems? I don't remember a lot except caterpillars on the greens, which then picking those. them off by hand. Yes. <laughs> there weren't many chemical things available to use actually during the war. And we don't use chemicals now because no, we're um, for organic. Different reasons, so, yes. yes, for different reasons. And how about in the glass houses? Did you, what did you grow in there? We had uh, a vinery on one wall where there was a glass house built again, and peaches in another, and we had melons and cucumbers. Anything that you could grow there and eat. <laughs> yes. And was there anything that Lord and Lady Berwick were particularly partial to? No, I don't think so. They did like the things like the grapes and peaches, of course, the more exotic things. <laughs> but they took a lot down in the hall, anything we had. Right. And then, of course, you were telling me that you lived in the same cottage that I live in That's now. That's right, yes. And has it changed very much? Um... Well, not basically, except we've now got indoor sanitation, which we hadn't <laughs> I'm <got>. very <laughs> pleased about that. <laughs> uh, um, but they did install a bath and a wash basin for us, provided I paid half the cost. <laughs> now, what do you think of it now? You've had a little walk round. <laughs> well, I've been twice before since it was National Trust, and it's greatly improved, I must say, from when I came the first time. 
and improved again on what I saw two or three years ago. Really? Yes, because we have only been going for two or three years, yes. so probably you came right at the beginning. I did, very soon after it was National Trust, friends right. brought me up to look at it. Right. If you were head gardener, what would you do with this now? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> what would you do? I mean, you're looking around now. Well, it'd be nice to see them and some of the fruit crops back, like raspberries and gooseberries and black currants. Definitely. They make a lot of work, but uh, it's nice to have them. It is. But once you're, they're in, they're in, aren't yes. they? Which is a good yes. thing. Yes, so because they've got I'm to hoping. be maintained. Yes, that's true. Fiddly pruning and that sort of thing. Yes, I might get you it. back to help me with that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 it's very interesting. <laughs>